it's Casey. Welcome back. So I'm here today with a tutorial slash get ready with me. It's going to be a voiceover. I use the Lorac Unzipped palette for my eye look today and I really like it. Uh, it's still neutral but it's not the browns for once so I hope you all are proud. <laughs> I did kind of like a rose gold plumish pinkish type thing. Um, this palette has kept me from buying the Naked palette. Now I'm not saying they're completely the same, but they're similar enough for me that I only need one. So if you want to see what I did to get this look, then just keep watching. First step is to prime our lids for our eyeshadows. Next, I'm taking my Lorac Unzipped palette and I'm going into this really pretty pink shade called Unreal with a flat brush. And I'm just gonna pat that on the inner half of my lid and bring it up to the crease and then next I'm gonna go into a slightly deeper shade this is called unbelievable it's kind of like a rose gold kind of color with some pink in it definitely and I'm gonna pat that on the rest of the lid <clears throat> and blend that into the first shade and I'm also gonna flip my brush and just kind of blend out those edges just a little bit Next, I'm going into this matte shade called Unspoken. It's just kind of like a matte medium brown with a big fluffy brush. And I'm just applying that to the socket of my eye to blend out the edge of those other two colors. And I'm keeping this kind of low because I'm also going to go into Unconditional, which is like a matte mauve shade. And I'm going to apply that just over the edge um, of that Unspoken color for a really pretty mauve -y gradient. Next, I'm taking this gorgeous shade called Unbridled. It's like a really deep cranberry brown color. It's so unique with um, <clears throat> a smaller brush. And I'm gonna put that in my outer V and just kind of blend that into the outer portion of my crease. And I'm bringing it down onto the outer portion of my lid as well. And then I'm gonna take an even darker shade. This is called Untamed. It's definitely more brown than the unbridled and I'm just concentrating this in the outer part of the crease. I'm not going to bring it down to the lid or any higher up than my true true crease just to deepen that up and darken it more, give it a little bit more definition. And then I'm just taking my blending brush with nothing else on it and just blending over all that. And because I wanted more of just a cream shade than what was in this palette, I'm taking this one by Jordana called Creamy Vanilla. And I'm using that as my brow bone highlight and I'm also blending out all of those edges with that. I'm just gonna do some liquid liner. This is from L'Oreal and just making a really thin line and making a really small wing. I'm gonna jump to the skin for a minute and I'm gonna use this illuminating product from Stila and just apply a really thin layer of that for a little bit of like a glowy effect. It's really, really pretty. Um, you can wear it alone or you can mix it with your foundation. I just like to wear it under my foundation sometimes. And for my foundation, I am going to use a little sample I have of the Urban Decay Naked Skin. And I'm pretty sure my shade is 4.0. I did actually end up purchasing the full size of this because I really, really love it. But I'm just applying a thin layer of that all over. Um, you can build this up. I did actually apply about two thin layers. And I'm just going to stipple that into my skin with my F80 from Sigma. I love this brush. Um, it just blends everything out so well. And this foundation goes on so evenly. I really, really like it. Next, I'm going to move on to my under eyes. And I'm going to take this brightener. From e.l.f. and just apply a thin layer of that underneath my eyes and I'm actually just going to blend that out with the same brush. And then for a little bit of concealer I'm going to go in with MAC Pro Longwear. This is NW20. And what a face. <laughs> That's the face I make when I'm trying to only pump out a little bit. <laughs> I know you love it. So anyway, I'm just dotting that under my eyes. And I'm also just going to go back in with my brush and just blend that out. Next, 
Now I'm taking another concealer from e.l.f. This is in light and I'm just going to cover up any redness that I had on my skin and a few blemishes. And this shade is called light but I'm going to warn you all they run dark. This is actually more of like a medium tone concealer. And because my under eyes are so bright, I decided to go ahead and highlight the rest of my face just to kind of e even it out because it kind of looked like that reverse raccoon effect with the highlight just under my eyes and nowhere else. So this is the MAC Prep and Prime Light Boost Pen. And I'm just highlighting my other areas of my face that I want to stand out a little more. My forehead, cheekbones, down the nose, you know, all the normal places that you highlight. And I really like to just go ahead and use that same brush. And I'm just setting my under eyes with my Tarte Smooth Operator Powder. It's just a really thin powder. And for the rest of my face, I'm going to set it with my MAC Studio Fix Powder Foundation. This is NW25. And I'm using a really big brush so that I don't get too much product because I had pretty good coverage going on anyway. I just wanted to set all the liquid and cream products that I used. And now I'm going to jump back to the eyes and go back into that unbridled shade. And I'm going to apply this with an angled brush all the way across my lower lash line. And then I'm going to smoke it out with a little bit bigger just pencil brush and that unspoken, that brown shade. And I'm going to make a really weird face. <laughs> and I'm just going to smoke out my lower lash line to smudge it out and make it look a lot softer. And then for the inner tear duct, this is a shadow from Sally's Girl. It's actually 99 cents and it's called Champagne. And I'm just taking a really small brush and applying that around the inner corner. Then I'm going to go back to the face and I'm going to take my Park Avenue Princess Bronzer from Tarte and just warm up my skin tone and I forgot to show you all I did put on eyelashes and my eyebrows. Look in the info bar and I'll list out everything I used um, that you see in this video and the things that I didn't mention or show. And then I'm going to do a little bit of extra contouring. This is MAC Harmony Blush and the NARS Eda brush and I'm just going to contour my cheekbones around my forehead and a little bit on the sides of my nose. Now for one of my favorite parts is blush and I just recently picked this one up and I absolutely love it. It's one of the Maybelline Master Highlight Blushes and I can't remember the name right now but I will have that in the info bar for you as well. But it's just a really pretty pink with a slight sheen so I'm actually not going to use a highlight with it because it really gives you the effect of blush and highlight but it's so pretty. Since we had so much pink going on, I just wanted a really neutral lip, so I came up with a really pretty combo. Um, I started off with this liner from Rimmel in East and Snob. It's just like a neutral pink, and then I went over that with a Jouer lip gloss in Wind. And this is just a really neutral, like pinkish, tan, beige kind of color. Really pretty shine, though. And then because I knew it was going to be a long day, I went ahead and set my makeup with the Urban Decay Chill Makeup Setting Spray. And that is the finished look. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you like how the look turned out. Look in the info bar. I'll list all the products I used in case you missed anything. And I'll also have my links for Twitter and Instagram down there as well. And I really hope you guys are doing great, having a great week. And take care and come back next time. I'll see you then. Bye.